Okay, um, this is going to be a quick demo just showing the GSA proxy scraper that just came out a few days ago. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Here on the main GUI, you've got your IPs, your proxy location, which you can hover over and get a little more information about. Uh, pretty much everything here you can hover over to get more information. You've got your ports, uh, authentication, the type of proxies, which this supports web, connect, SOX 4 and 5. It'll give you information about that here. You've got your anonymous um, different levels. You've got if it's elite, and it'll tell you also some more information if you hover over it, if they're dangerous IP ranges and stuff like that. Um, over here you've got tags, which you're able to customize and set up your own tags. For example, if you wanted a proxy to work against, let's say, YouTube or Pinterest, you can set up a special tag for that to where it will automatically test against those sites and tag the proxies that work. So that's what that is here. You've got your speed, your source, where the proxies came from, and then the status. And as proxies are retested and, and stuff like that, it will give information about that here. And then you just got a breakdown that um, shows you how many of each type you've got. So for here, this goes with the type column, and this will show we've got 347 web proxies so far, 277 connect, 16 SOX4, and then two SOX5, anonymous level, 401 elite, 67 uh, just anonymous, and an 83 transparent, and then so far 89 pub. I mean, uh, 89. Google Pass proxies and 642 public so far. Um, so yeah, and then you've got this really nice feature here, which a lot of a lot of the public proxy scrapers on the market don't have this, but there are a few. But you can right-click, proxy scan selected IP ranges, and you can actually port scan while. Um, the main tool here is actually still scraping public proxies, so you can do both. You can adjust your threads here, timeout, a few more options. Uh, but that's a nice little, th a nice little tool there to uh, help bring in more proxies that other people might not be able to get. But of course, you need a good IP range and ports. So I will go ahead and get into the settings up here we've got the internal proxy server where you can actually activate this and uh, set the proxy in your browser so as you surf the internet it's going to use one of these scrape proxies and um, and you can use specific ones if you want to use ones that only work with Google or any of your other um, tags that you set up you can do that here and down here you can see some of the tags that are standard you can change the name and background color. You got your thread thread count, connection timeout settings, all that good stuff. Provider, this is where you can add your own providers and see the list of proxy providers. I mean not proxy providers, but uh, the the sources that are already in here. And you can add your own if you want. Uh, enter the URL. There's a form here which will allow you to add everything you need to scrape from the source that you want. Um, so that's that and then we can go into uh, here's the good stuff the exporting options where you've got FTP upload you can send an email you can save them to your local hard drive and then web upload so what you could do is you could have Google Pass proxies sent to your email every 10 minutes um, you could have while at the same time having you know your Pinterest past proxies being saved to your local machine and then you could have another set doing something else and all of them can be doing it at different intervals using different filters um, I'll go ahead and show what the filter form looks like real quick so if we were to save the file to see you can choose the interval and then you've got your format um, file name and then if we were to go here there's even more filtering options like let's see here um, we've got our obviously we can export by the type of proxy the, the, the level of anonymous anonymous level 
the certain ports if we want to exclude suspicious proxies um, and then of course the certain type if we only want to export Google or, or whatever our tag proxies are and then of course by the region so you've got quite a build of, of export and filtering options and you can do it all in different intervals with at different destinations and all that good stuff and then you've got here your automatic search options which a lot of this if you've used GSA Search Engine Ranker or a lot of the other GSA tools that have the um, proxy scraper built in you might be familiar with some of these settings up here just how often you want it to scrape and then uh, retesting options and all that kind of stuff but here is where you can set up um, custom test against sites so if you wanted your proxies to test against let's say YouTube or Twitter or anything like that you can add it you set up the form and this is how it looks you can see some of the options here and that way as it's scraping proxies it can actually test against the source that you want and filter them for you automatically and then down here you've got more filtering options um, this is if you want to filter them um, you can obviously you don't have to filter anything you can just let all the proxies come in and then filter them using the export options but if you want to filter them on this level you can do it here um, you've got your if you don't want to accept anonymous proxies you've got that here if you don't want to accept transparent if you want to skip suspicious IPs or proxies uh, then you've got options to skip certain ports only accept certain ports only accept certain tag proxies um, you can here accept only a, another type specific type of proxies and then of course your region filtering and if you want you got these little basic uh, filter sets you can also save create one and save it using this like if you want to check certain things and then save that as a profile and then come back and load it uh, to save time you can do that and then there's some built-in ones if you already want to if you just want to select Google Pass you can do that and it'll go ahead and set that up for you um, but yeah it's pretty I mean as far as um, proxy scrapers and tools go it's very easy to set up and use it's a couple, few clicks and you can uh, get this thing up and running and it's only been out a few days so far at least at the time of this recording and there's already been a few updates and you know with GSA software there's going to be more to come so things will only get better if you're in the market for a proxy scraper definitely check this out